Hi, this is going to be a quick video. I want to show you about uh, the window opener, how you can uh, send data between windows that you've opened. Uh, for example, over here, this is an app I made though, but uh, here I'm going to open up a, a template app here, and I'm going to here real quick. Now this is a new window that has that has opened, separate from my main window. So uh, the question is, how do I transfer data? Like I have these names here, and it came from my previous window. So if you look at my code here, this is the function, this is the print page function. If you look here, the what you have to do is you gotta type this specific code here. So it's window open, right? And then you put your URL. Because I'm using Flask, um, Flask is sort of like a Python, Python um, way of <laughs> of doing websites. Um, that's why it looks a little bit different. But basically, it's it's it's, a, uh, it's basically the URL, and you can put more options. Here's just the name of the window. So I call this window template. So once you open the window, there's an automatic connection between uh, between your main window and the window that you've opened. Now if you look here, this is the window I have opened here, and this is the connection here, window opener, right? So let's 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 take a look at here at, the, at on the inspect. Let's go to console here. Well, this is a, this is just an icon. Um, I can get rid of that easily. But uh, if you look here, I'm just going to type here um, console log. If you guys aren't already uh, using console log, I suggest you use console log a lot more because it can reveal a lot of information. Because that's how I found out about this window opener um, and how it got it to work. So if you type here window opener in console log, and console log is just like um, an output of like everything that's going on. It's sort of like a forensic tool. So let's save this. And let's take a look at this over here. And let's reload the page. And here, this is, this here, this here is basically this, this window opener. And I recognize, I recognize this. This is basically my, the window of my, the previous page. So if I have access to the previous page, then theoretically speaking, I have access to all my functions and I've access all, all my data, everything in the entire, in the entire window. So, um, here you can say you can treat this like you know how you wrote how you write document dot get id and stuff like that so window opener would be the sort of like the document um so let's say not well you can say names x equals or let's say var or this is var x equals window opener window And that here, that's equivalent to, um, that is equivalent to saying something like document uh, get element by ID, and you can say, um, I don't know, let's say uh, assign, or, well, I have here edit assignments, and over here, window opener is basically the same thing, it's like get element by ID. Edit assignments dot value and that's you no know, basically the same thing except you're doing it from this sort of tag instead. And you can see here this is exactly what I do. That's how I got the names here. I use window opener. Oh, you have to use the word document, I guess, in front of it. So you can say window opener, then documents, then get element by IDs and, and the value, and then whatever. Now it's accessible on this page, and you can use that data whatever you want. And apparently, you can also use functions. So 